Okay, so now let's do a demo of the meeting aisle itself. So um, we're set up, the meeting aisle is connected to my laptop. My laptop would be connected to the projector or display in the classroom. So students in the room would be able to see whatever is being displayed on my laptop, whether it's the Zoom meeting, so they could see the students at home, or maybe my Google Slides, uh, my Night B page, whatever content I have on my laptop, I wanna be able to share with students in the room, in addition to using the share screen option on Zoom here so students at home can watch. So when you connect with the OWL, it may or may not automatically recognize that the OWL is connected. It's fairly simple to confirm this. In the lower left corner, you're gonna see the two up arrow buttons, one for video, one for audio. You select the up arrow, to the next to next to mute, you're going to see an option to select a microphone and to select a speaker. It's important that you select the Meeting Owl Pro for both your microphone and your speaker. The microphone and speaker built into the Meeting Owl is significantly better than what you're going to find on your laptop. It's 360 degrees, so it really will capture the noise in the room and allow students at home to hear any of those voices of the students in the room. So you want to double check that that is selected on the Meeting Owl Pro. So as I look at the up arrow to the right of video, I'm going to see some camera options. If you have a document camera connected, you would see a third camera option, one for your document camera. I can easily change back and forth from my laptop camera back to the camera on the L. I can also easily toggle between my webcam, the OWL camera, and whatever screen sharing option I want to select. So if I select share screen, I could select whatever I wanted to share with those students at home, including the whiteboard built in to Zoom. So when you think about the meeting L, you look at what you're seeing right now. You're seeing me on the bottom panel. There's one big panel at the bottom, and up at the top, you're going to see the 360 degree view. So it's a little, you see the fisheye lens to it, but that's basically 360 degrees around the room. I don't know if I can do this, it may not show up here. Hang on, let me see if I'm in the right spot. Sometimes I can get it to, there we go. You see my hand on one side show up on the other as, it, as the, the, the camera goes around the room 360 degrees. The Owl Pro is a smart camera in the sense that it recognizes the sounds in the room. So as you're speaking, it's going to move the camera automatically and try to find where you are and focus on the speaker. You'll notice it may zoom in and zoom out or may kind of pan up a little bit or pan down just based on the sounds that it hears. So right now it's one large panel at the bottom. If you had two people having a conversation in the room and they're off on opposite sides of the room, the Meeting Out Pro will actually divide the screen and show two panels. So the one person, the two people speaking, you'll see them both on two bottom panels. The Meeting Out Pro may also split into three panels. So depending on maybe here's three voices, it would divide into three. So you'll notice it's automatically changing based on it, it listening to me as the main speaker. If I move over to the whiteboard, then it takes a second for it to adjust to the noises that it hears. And it should then show the whiteboard down, show me speaking in front of the whiteboard. You may find yourself at times, you know, clapping to get its attention. Um, we'll talk about, uh, there's a way you can actually manually control the 360 degree view. I'll show that here in a couple minutes. But for now, if you speak, it should generally follow. When you write on the board, you want to make sure you are writing as clearly as you can. Anyone who's a computer science person uh, would recognize Hello World. Um, but you want to make sure when you're writing on the board, you're using a good Expo marker. So if you use a marker that's running out of ink, trade it in, get a new one. You want to make sure the marker is in good shape. 
You want to make sure you choose colors that are going to be darker. So if you have a red Expo marker, it may not show up as well as a blue or a green or a purple. So consider the colors that you choose. You also want to think about the size of your text. So you're going to have to experiment with this and really get some feedback from the students connecting remotely on if they can see what you're writing. This camera, the owl itself on the tripod, is about seven to eight feet from the board. So you can decide you've got enough uh, cable with the USB and the power to get 15 feet basically out of space. So in most classrooms, you should be able to find and position the owl so it works best for what you're teaching on that day, how you're teaching. We can take the um, USB cable and the power cable to the floor if you like, if you find a spot in your space that would be just exactly where you always need it, you don't want to move it. Of course, you're going to want to coordinate with any other teachers who are also teaching your space. But where they want to place the owl may be slightly different. So you want to coordinate that. And we'll, we'll talk about the details of that uh, once we get started for the school. So as I continue moving around the room, the owl should continue following me. I'm not doing anything to control it. It's listening to what's happening in the room, and it's making those changes. Now we're in the WCC for this demo, and you'll see this is a fairly large room. So I can move fairly far away from the owl. I am projecting, I'm not yelling. And you should be able to hear me. You should notice there is a slight change, obviously, as I move farther away from the owl, that it won't be quite as uh, easy to hear but you should still be able to do. Now, as we think about classroom management, and as we think about you know, how you manage a conversation among students in your spaces, you do want to think about you know, how you make sure everyone is heard, both students at home and students in the classroom itself. If everyone is wearing a mask, how do we make sure students speak loudly enough to be able to hear through that mask? So, those are things that you will want to consider. And as we know, some students talk more loudly than others, and you'll want to uh, work through some of those challenges. Now, if I put on a mask, and this is just a cloth mask, so give it a second here to recognize where I move to. So again, I'm talking through my mask. As I move around the room, it should continue to find where I'm moving and focus in on me as best I can. So again, I want to make sure if I am wearing a mask while teaching, I need to talk loudly enough, enunciate well enough, talk slowly enough, so that the owl can hear me well enough and can uh, allow students at home to hear these conversations. So again, now I'm back at the board, about seven to eight feet from the owl itself. 